Rob Houston. We are here at Leonardo's Children's Museum, kind of serving double duty. One, to talk about the brand new bug exhibit here, and also to promote next week's spring break camp. It's one of four or more reasons to visit Enid this week. Here at Leonardo's, they have a new temporary exhibit. It's called Backyard Bugs 2.0. You have the, the large monarch butterfly behind me. We have some live insects, just a lot of things that are going on here in the temporary exhibit. Also coming up next week though, Leonardo's is taking the kids on a cruise and it's part of their spring break camp and the captain of the ship, as it were, is the executive director at Leonardo's, Tracy Biddle. We're having spring break camp at Leonardo's Children's Museum this year. We're really excited and we get to go on a cruise throughout the week. Each day of the week we're going to stop at a different port of call. So one day we might be in Mexico having a beach party. On another day we might stop at Superhero Island. Every day the children will get to do science experiments and art experiments. You can come in the morning or you can come in the afternoon. Or if you'd like, your children can come all day. Just be sure that they bring a sack lunch. Remember at Leonardo's, we do STEAM education. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. It's a great way to spend your spring break. For more information on the Leonardo's Spring Break Camp Cruise, you can go to their website at leonardos.org. This weekend is the 44th annual Enid Coin, Token, and Paper Money Show. It's going on at the Hoover Building at the Garfield County Fairgrounds. The Enid Coin Club puts on this show where folks can buy, sell, or trade any of those coins that they have. If you want to just get your coins assessed, you can bring them in as well, and they'll have assessors there that will tell you how much those coins are worth. Vendors will be on hand as well. So don't miss it, the 44th annual Coin, Token, and Paper Money Show at the Hoover Building at the Garfield County Fairgrounds. Sunday, the brand new Enid Skate Park will have a, one of its first competitions since it opened in January. It is the Spring Break Throwdown, and it's Sunday from 11 until 6. They'll have different categories, including beginner and advanced. They'll play a game of skate, and that is kind of like horse if you've ever played basketball. And they'll also have food vendors on hand, live music, and a lot more. So challenge yourself, challenge your friends, and come on down to the Enid Skate Park on Sunday for the Spring Break Throwdown. Friday and Saturday, the OSSAA is bringing its dual state wrestling tournament to the Stride Bank Center. The top eight teams in classes 6A, 5A, 4A, and 3A will be on hand competing for a dual state championship. The 5A and 4A brackets go on Friday. The 6A and 3A brackets are on Saturday. It's at the Stride Bank Center, the OSSAA Dual State Wrestling Tournament. Tying the Knot is the continuing exhibit at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center. It uh, involves weddings and wedding apparel and just wedding traditions from the time of the land run to today. So don't miss that, it's going on through April 3rd, tying the knot at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center. Thursday night, it's basketball action at the Maybe Center. It's baby bedlam time as NOC Enid takes on its rival NOC Tonkawa. The women start at 5.30 with the men to follow at 7.30. Baby bedlam, NOC Enid against NOC Tonkawa on Thursday night. And that's four or more reasons to visit Enid this week. Of course, we have this bug exhibit that is here. And don't forget to get your children signed up for next week's spring break camp going on a cruise. For more information on these events, plus all the events that are coming up in Enid, go to our website, visitenid.org.